Hello everyone. Today I want to touch base a little bit on this device called Microbot Push, or as some people call it, a robotic finger. It's an interesting device. We had it for some time now. Uh, we didn't really play too much with it. It has some features that we like and some features with, which we don't like that much. So, firstly, let's look at what it is and how it looks and what's in the box. So we've got the instruction manual here. Is not useful. We have a finger itself. Looks quite solid. It's actually quite quite pleasant to touch. Uh, it's a solid finger and it works. It's cool. Plus we've got an extra padding, so I guess that plugs in somewhere here for your to give you a little bit of a extra space, extra length. Let's see what else. Oh, okay. We've got a cable, it's a black cable, and we've got some of the stickers so we can get a sucking action here. And we've got a couple of, so I guess, bedding so we can probably do this and this. Okay. Uh, it pushes cool so the things we do like it's actually a quite well built device it's solid um, it has a nice feel to it it has a nice smooth action and and generally it looks really nice additionally it has a charging port here which is good some of the fingers we've been playing with actually don't have a charging port so that's kind of good one thing we don't like, it is a Bluetooth controlled, so you, uh, when you're controlling it, you, you do have a range constraint, it doesn't have a Wi-Fi, and currently it only works, from what we can understand, with Alexa. Unfortunately, we don't have a Alexa with us, we use mainly Google devices, so we won't be able to voice control it for now, but hopefully in the near future, as mentioned on, on the manufacturer website, they will have a Google plugin for it. But let's look at it a bit further, what we can actually do with it. So if we take up our phone, so we've already connected the app, so we'll go to the app. Uh, like a relaxation, okay. So as you can see, it's a relatively simple app. So we've got an option here, so we've got uh, hubs, which we don't have, uh, we do have uh, different hubs, but not the Proto, which apparently this is compatible with. We've tried connecting it to our hub, but it was unsuccessful. And we have our push here. So, looking at it, pressing a button, yep, works. You can press and hold, and if you're holding it, it, st it stays back. You release it, it should pull it back. So it does work well. It has a very good response time and everything, and it does have quite good features. Uh, so if we look at the menu, right? Uh, so here, for example, what we do like is uh, the mode section. So for example, for the uh, light switches. If you're using it for a light switch, what you can do is you can select the mode to toggle. Done. And it's changing the mode. And it's changing the mode. Let's see how long it will take to change it. Okay, so it's blinking green. Now it's changed now. Okay, we'll go back the board and now if you noticed with the press it will push and hold so if you have a light switch like on off light switch what you can actually do you can put a suction cup here and it will press so it will turn it on and hold it and then once you press it again it will turn off the light switch some some good features um, also an interesting feature we found so we'll just switch the uh, mode back to normal uh, and uh, 
So a few other features here, we've got a timer so you can set a timer when, when it's on and off. Uh, have web hooks. Uh, we did look at the web hooks. Uh, unfortunately, this is a bit complex, so we haven't really played with it as of yet, but we will at one stage. And the other part is 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 how far it's going to press. So if you look now, it's saying at 100%, and if you notice, the it quite comes out quite a lot. So we'll pull it back and uh, let's see. It looks like it malfunctioning. So let's try to set the mode back to normal. Let's set hold on so, to toggle uh, back to normal. Okay, now let's give it a try. Cool, so it, it is back normal. So you see there's still some some bugs in the software, but I'm sure it will be fixed in the next few releases. So this one, uh, this is the depth of the press. So if we change it to 20%, you can see how little it is. And if we change it back to 100, you can see how far the switch actually comes out. and back to 20% again and just a little bit so it does have some good options um, it is an interesting device I think once it's uh, connected to Google and has the voice control we probably will roll it out and use it in, in some of the parts in our home automation system but at this stage um, I think we'll just put it back in the box and wait for it to come out with Google connection, but overall, I mean, I, I as a device itself, I am quite impressed. I think they should have put a Wi-Fi option in it. I mean, there's quite a lot of devices which are the same size or smaller and with inbuilt Wi-Fi and uh, direct connection to Google via Google Home and Google Mini. So yeah, it's a pity they don't have a Google, but. Once they do, I think that's going to be quite a popular device. It does actually fits quite well on certain appliances like coffee machines, kettles. Uh, you know, you can use it to turn off and on the washing machine, dryer, etc. So probably not won't be using it for the switches, but for something where the button needs to be pressed, especially things like washing machine and coffee coffee machine, I think we'll be using it as soon as it rolls out with uh, Google connection. Well, I think that's about it for now. Um, cool device, but I think it still needs some work. Excellent. Thank you for watching and see you next time.